Hi, this is Gaurav Jain. I'm from CVP team. Uh, I will walk you through the f one of the exciting feature of CVP 10.5 Call Studio, which is TTS and ASR integration. So, as one of the objective of Call Studio 10.5 was to enhance the user development experience. So, uh, with this feature, a user can develop the application at his desktop, laptop and test the application with the TTS and ASR functionality as well. So to use this functionality what we can do is after developing the application which has the TTS prompts or which might be having some of the some of the URLs we can go to Windows preferences and then there's a new option called debug preferences and which has speech configuration section in which we can enable the speech synthesis. There's another section called speech recognition will come to it but in the speech synthesis whatever engines which are SAPI enabled which are installed on your laptop or desktop will be listed down. Microsoft NI is the default engine which is available along with Windows XP so you can select it and then press apply so that is all you need from the configuration side. Once you start this, your call studio is all set to synthesize your prompts. Now I'll start the debugger. And as soon as I say connect. Welcome to sample bank application. You are in main flow right now. Press one for new customer. Press two for savings account. Press three for current account. Press 4 for credit account. You are in new customer subflow now. Press 1 to create new account. Pre new customer has been added with account number 123456. Thanks for using our services. So this way you see it has synthesized all the prompts and it is giving the experience of the testing in the uh, very much closer to the real time application experience. So now second thing I'll do is I will go to the ASR functionality. Before going to the ASR I would like to give you a description about one more thing is that is the audio file playing. So let's say if you add an audio file here, audio file name, then you need to add the audio file in a specific path. So if you go to the help of Call Studio, you can see in the debug section of the help, the location of the path is given already. So this is the location where you can keep all your audio prompt. So here you see there are some WAV files already kept. If you keep one of the audio file here and if you refer it, so this uh, synthesizer will play that app, that audio file as well while your Call Studio application debugging is happening. So let's go to the recognition, recognition uh, thing now. You have to stop the debugger to enable this, cap, this uh, preferences and speech recognition. So stop the uh, existing running debugger enable the speech recognition it has only one uh, option that is Microsoft recognizer so right now the recognizer what we are using is the inbuilt capability of Microsoft OS that provides some Microsoft SAPI integration layer so using that layer it is doing the, doing the, the recognition and the speech synthesis so what I'm gonna do is I will disable TTS because I'm using uh, mic for input and if I take the output of uh, prompt from the synthesis then my mic will capture it or I will take it uh, take its output on my headset So you may not be able to listen to the prompts, but I will show you the demo of recognition. One.
one so like this you can use the TTS and ASR enabled speech functionality now we'll see how we can debug these applications there is a debugging tool given along with this uh, call studio installation so to open that we can go to command prompt go to C Cisco call studio Eclipse there you can see there's a tool called Eclipse C.exe so what this will do is it will launch the call studio in the console mode so once that is launched if you go and do any operations which are related to speech those will be captured in the logs so once you start the debugging it will generate lots of log you can redirect these logs to some of the text file and capture it and these logs may be helpful if you want to as if you have facing some issue and engineering wants to diagnose the issue then you can provide these logs to the team so that the engineering team can troubleshoot the issue and give the solution so that's all I have for this video enjoy the tool thank you